Uh, you are from Arkansas State. Uh, so, what is going on in Arkansas State and this month? In Rakhine, Arkansas State, yeah. um, there's a there's a fighting these weeks. You know, more than before. Lots of and then more refugee now between ethnic armed organization, rebels group, and Myanmar army are fighting in town and forest. Yeah. Uh, so, who suffered the most? Uh, children's, women's, also in the children's, women's, and and uh, we have a different minority, very small group in Rakhine State. They are the most of them live in the forest, forest, jungle. You know, and when the fights happen in the forest, jungle, they become a refugee. You know, they become a victim. They don't have get a um, good education in the forest. So when they come to the downtown, for example, for example, when they have a refugee, they are just waiting for the the day that they will go back home. You know, uh, because they don't have a relative in the other different area. You know, so the very um, small minority, like mule kami, that you know, tiny like that groups we have. They really suffer. They suffer the most. There, are children's um, um, children's okay. women suffer the most. Mm. What about the future generation? Or yeah, the future young people. Future young people. They cannot go to school, and they will also suffer. You know. So in their head, mm. um, if, for example, if their home got burned down, and they will all remember. They all remember, and then someone become, someone will become their enemy, you know, in this head. So one day, they will solve this problem, but in violence way, you know, I don't know. So this is really really dangerous. Uh, how do they who are the most re responsible person? A uh, responsible person, uh, people, the group. Um, that is, that would be government. Also the the group who they are fighting. That's the government. Governments have the power. What well, the power, you know? Yeah. So they need to bring them to the table. Yeah. They will be middlemen, yeah. um, but they need to do this. But Myanmar it has been and so we have been fighting have been fighting for more than so many years, you know. Seventy years. Yeah. So now the same. Um, and then who want war? Uh, actually, no one want want war, but some people who have power, some people who I mean, it would be right if I say who want power, you know, forever, you know. So, but just that is not big group, you know. That's like small group who have a decision make maker. Decision maker have to make this decision. What do Rakhine people want? Rakhine, Rakhine people want, like in Myanmar, um, all the, we have many big ethnic group, you know. They want to have their their own decision, you know. Like in the township level, for example, I want to do something, you know. I just will go and talk to the township level director, and then he will understand me, you know. If he is from my township, and then he will understand, you know. You know? Now, now it's, we cannot make decision. We don't have a decision, you know. Rakhine people don't have a decision. So we need, we need this power. 